We're just going to have a brief talk about stylizing images and video events on your timeline. Now, there are not a huge amount of effects that are native to Sony Vegas that allow us to stylize. There are plenty of effects that help us to do color correction, and we will be doing a whole section on color correction in upcoming tutorials. But when it comes to stylizing, that's when you actually start to look at plugins such as the BCC range that we've been talking about before. Boris FX have got a whole bunch of plugins and they allow us to do some quite interesting things with the images that we've got. Now I've got two items on my timeline. I've got a, a picture event and I've got a video event. I've got rid of the audio just for demonstration purposes. And I'm going to start applying some of the Boris effects that we can actually stylize just to show you or give you an indication of what they can do. So if I go to my video effects tab, remember if you haven't got it, you can go to view and you can go down and find video effects. There it is and make sure it shows. Okay, so we've got that there, escape to get back. Now I've got the BCC art looks and we're going to be looking at the film styles a bit later on, but we might also have a very brief look at color and tone while we're at it. So let's just add in charcoal sketch and I'm just going to drag charcoal sketch and drop it onto this event. And instantly we can see we can come up with a very interesting stylized look and you can reduce or increase the amount of how it looks simply with the effects controls that are here. So you've got different looks we've got dense dirty expanded hard and fat spare and expanded so you can go through all of these various options and play around with them and see what they come up with and what actually is going to suit you but actually what i often like to do is start off with the default and start playing with the default so we've got compare if we want to which allows us to compare side by side the original with the change we've made so if you do add an effect on BCC, most of these has got this compare option. So I can go side by side and I can change exactly which bit I'm looking at simply by sliding this slider and I can double click, take it back to the original look. Also, I can do an offset. So which bit do I want to look at? Which bit is going to be the original? So you can actually play with those if you want to, to do a side by side look. I don't think I need to, but be aware that you have this option which can see the original and the changes that you've made and help you to make wise choices. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to take it to off. Temporal smoothing is to do with over time. So if it's a bit stuttery over time, you can actually add in temporal smoothing. You can soften the whole image up. And as you can see, that's removing detail. And you can play with the appropriate line depth. So you can see at the moment our line style is heavy. We could go for medium. We could go for light. It depends what you want to go for, the sort of look you're looking for. If you go for light and you soften it up, you can get a really mild pencil drawing. Okay, I'm going to take that back to, I think I'm going to go for heavy. Line threshold is simply going to say what actually acts as something that we would draw a line with. So basically it's detecting the edges and we're telling it how smooth or, or what level of detail needs to be shown before we're going to draw a line around that edge. So you can take that right down to very minimum or you can have an awful lot of detail added in. And if you add in more detail, you can see it starting to add the sky and it almost looks embossed. The width of the line is what it says on the tin, how wide are those lines going to be? And then how soft are those lines going to be? So you can kind of blur the image to create a very stylized look. And then your advanced options, I'm not going to go through all of them, but you can boost the contrast and you can play around with all sorts of different bits just to change the style of what you're doing. And you can play around with these, but you don't have to stick with black and white. Obviously, the foreground color is black. I can go in there and say, well, you know what? I want it to be blue or very mild blue or perhaps a very dark blue. And you can just play around and change those as you need for your creative purposes. And again, you can change the white. Perhaps actually quite a common one is to go for yellow and you can have it created like a yellow page here. Just something slightly to give an interesting look. I'm going to go back to black and white though, just for the purposes of this demonstration. So there we go, we're black at black and white. And you can play around with that. You can inverse the colors. You can do all kinds of bits and pieces just to create a very stylized look. Okay, so that's one option. But what if you then actually create a look that you like, but you actually want to add a bit of color to it? Well, that's when you can add another event in your plugin chain. And you can go and we can actually choose, say, one of the color and tone options. And we could say, add colorize. So I can double click to add colorize and click OK. And then with colorized added, we can choose from one of the many presets to add various colors in. 
and then you can actually colorize the items and you can play with the color settings here so say well that's far too strong I want something much milder you can go in and change it so you can colorize the end result and create something that's entirely different from the original image which can be really powerful now I'm just going to get rid of both of these and I'm going to show you something completely different this time I'm going to click here to apply and I'm going to go back to art looks and I'm going to go to tile mosaic which is one of the ones I love to use so tile mosaic add that in click OK and instantly we create this really stylized look which is actually quite common and I've seen it done before on cartoons and bits and pieces they want to show it as if it was an old-fashioned tile and you can play around with the the seed seed basically says a different starting point where do you want to start from and this works great on animated items the shape can be changed so you can change it from being very square to actually quite a, a, a different shape on the images to create a much more stylized look and you can move the tiles change the size of X and Y if you uncheck lock X you can actually change X and Y in different standards to get a different look okay so you can really have fun creating highly stylized looks they're embossed you can add noise you can even then go back and say well, you know what blend it with the original somewhat but by creating something like this you're creating something that's great fun to work with and of course it's animatable so let's just apply that to this image here we've got this image here and let's just say that we're going to apply the same thing here so let's go to tile mosaic and drop it on okay so you can see it's actually a, a moving image now I'm, I'm on preview full I'm just going to push play it's not going to play very quickly but you can see you can actually have it working with a moving image and then we can actually sort of say okay well let's increase the size of those tiles and then you can actually blend that a little bit with the original if you want to bring in a bit more of the picture and you can play it again you see okay so these are just some very simple things that you can add in you can create some amazing looks very simply I'm gonna go back in and I'm just gonna go back to the art looks and I'm going to choose pencil sketch this time and if we choose pencil sketch double click to apply pencil sketch and click OK and then you see that the item has gone to pencil sketch now just a word of warning here I'm at preview full if I go to preview automatic I get a very different look and that's not what's actually going to e export or, or come out at the end result if I go down to best auto I get a similar result but if I go down to best full you can see that it's a different result so just be a little bit careful but when you're on these you're actually looking at full to get a real feel for how it looks so you can have this really stylized look that's that's quite amazing and then you can actually once again colorize it by going down if you've got the color and tone effects again we can go down to colorize and we can add colorize in or we can go to tritone is perhaps another one let's add tritone in there as well click OK there's tritone turn off colorize but we've got tritone and tritone we can choose which colors are in our tritone so we've got black color midpoint color white color so white points are the highlights we can say well do you know what I want those highlights to be let's make them slightly yellow again so there we go down slightly greeny yellow we can create a completely different look and just have three colors to create these looks that we want so just be aware that if you have decided to buy the BCC color selection you can do some amazing things with these different plugins you've got a whole bunch of different color ones there's not time to go through them all I will be showing you the video scope a bit later on inside the uh, the colors but the art looks also allow us to do all sorts of things such as creating a watercolor look to the actual footage you've got so if, just for example click that one and I'm going to turn off the other ones and the pencil sketch and you can start playing with the watercolors and going for the presets to create all sorts of different looks which you then need to of course modify and change to create a much more smooth or, or dreamlike look with these different plugins but if you're looking at creating very stylized looks then you need to look at these sort of plugins that allow you to create some really interesting looks and when it comes to color correction we're also going to have a look at this film style section here which allows us to really create some film process looks which are very difficult to create otherwise inside of Sony Vegas. I hope you found this tutorial useful. My name's Andrew Davis and thanks for watching.